Welcome guys, welcome to this under investigation video. Today we're looking at protest number two of the current season, which is season three, 2024. Uh, obviously we are following the GT4 field in the GT4 LMP3 uh, challenge on last Monday. Uh, a little bit of context. Uh, obviously we are at Watkins and are on lap seven. There's a pretty decent battle between those two cars. So the Mercedes, uh, there's no Mercedes in there. It's a McLaren and a BMW. So we're going to make sure we cover all the angles uh, <clears throat> from this incident. All right, so we have overlap here. Let's look like it. So of course, both cars need to leave each other space. Good exit by the McLaren. Okay. Rejoin seems... Okay. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting to look at. Alright. Um, first... The incident itself. So, by the looks of it, the McLaren is pretty much at the edge of the track. There's literally no space to the left. There's a bit of a lift there. Okay. Um, so of course, what these kind of incidents are pretty hard to determine was was there a net code? Um, in the last few seasons, we've seen an increase of glue effect incidents. So there's there's definite contact uh, there. Uh, by looking at the top of uh, using the top view here allows me to see uh, clearly the car's uh, trajectory uh, relative to the track. So that's um, so we're using track reference to see if the car was moving left or right. Of course, the wheel helps. <coughs> I see minor, yeah, so there's a bit of grass clipping there, probably made the car slide a little bit. And what, what looks, to my, at least live, it looks like it, uh, it may have um, caused a glue effect in front. Uh, however, there's some responsibility, in my opinion, and the BMW by squeezing him to the left side. There was enough space, but I mean, when you're not leaving more than an inch, then some, sometimes these things can happen at uh, a 200 plus uh, kph. All right, so that's the incident. Held the brakes. Okay, not sure what happened really here. Uh, let's take a look from the Porsche at the back. Oh my God. All right. Um, so here, very clearly, there was some space this car, the BMW started to move, closed the door, and then nothing happened. There was no space left. However, the other observation I would make is it kind of takes a lot of time for this guy to br this guy to break. I don't know exactly where is the braking marker, 
but especially being on the right side of the track so you're not fully to the left which is the normal racing line you're kind of approaching the next corner with a very acute angle and therefore you cannot uh, have the same approach speed because you don't have the proper uh, exit line uh, however this BMW here almost clipped the LMP3 definitely caused this incident it's not at all on the Mercedes uh, the McLaren here but 100% uh, to this BMW so this will be penalty for sure uh, we we say we state clearly in the in the uh, the regulation and also during the season openings that when you are in an accident you need to step on the brakes and you need to uh, stay stationary unless there is some space on track and by crossing uh, crossing the car um, starting the, uh, to, to roll the car in the middle of the track towards even though towards the end you kind of taking more space makes it very unpredictable. Uh, so there's definitely one, one, two crashes, one or two crashes um, that resulted in this. So um, I'll let the stewards decide for this part of the incident. So was it um, was it part was it on the BMW or was it on the McLaren or it may be nothing. And uh, for the second part, uh, we might uh, we might give a penalty for the rejoin. So here, throttle, and then stop. Yeah. All right. See you in a bit.